Hello friends, welcome to the next lecture. We are in the process of setting up complete OpenStack 3 node cluster using shell scripting. Our next script and next demonstration is on Cinder. Cinder on compute node. We are working on a compute node, logged in as stack user, working in scripts, Ubuntu directory, inside the home directory. So next script is Cinder. So let's look at the script number nine. And what is installing? It is installing Kimu, TZT, Thin Provisioning Tools, LVM, Cinder Common and Cinder Volume. Installing the software. So let's install the software for Cinder on this machine. The installation of packages is complete. We look at script number 10. And this will set up the block volume storage on disk number four so we cannot use this disk i don't have this disk number four so that means i have to power off my machine and configure the storage so i have to power off and configure let me power off the machine machine is in power off mode i'll go to the settings storage we will add two more disk why because i need two disk for swift that will be my next session so before swift we are adding these two disks so totally what we have is we have these three extra disk and this will be used by cinder these two will be used by swift object storage so i need for storage uh, on i need two extra disk on this also that is storage node and storage node we need only two disk so two extra disk both these disks will be used by swift object storage now you understand disk number second that is sdb and sdc will be used by swift object storage on the compute node also sdb and sdc will be used by swift object storage and sdd will be used by cinder so now i'm starting this compute node and will configure cinder on this machine I have restarted and logged back again as stack user. Let's check the script number 10. So this will use SDD, that is fourth disk, which I just now added, and it will make physical volume out of it. It will initialize it as physical volume. It will create PV uh, physical volume. Or after that, it will create uh, volume group. So PV create, VG create, and then it is the uh, setting of the filter in lvm.com file allowing this device SDD to be used. And finally, making changes into main configuration file etc cinder cinder.conf. So all the sections will be configured by the script. Let's run the script. Script number 10, done. Script number nine and script number 10 are just now executed. Next will be Swift. For that, we need to configure Swift on controller node and uh, after that we'll configure on a compute node and then we'll configure it on storage node and then we'll be back into the controller node swift is a uh, quite comprehensive so wait for the swift lecture that will be the next lecture lecture thank you so much for watching